of the circus. for Jerry of the Circus. I think I'll stay and watch these seals for a while, Bump. Okay, Jerry. Rags and I'll be down at the other end of the tent rehearsing. You better be good, Rags. I'll be down to see how you're doing pretty soon. Oh, oh don't you worry about Rags. It's all we've been able to do is to keep him out of the ring. <laughs> so you think you're ready to go back to work again, huh? <laughs> okay, run along and do your stuff. I'll be with you pretty soon. I want to watch Barkus and that seal for a while. <laughs> All right, Jerry. Come along, Rags. We've got work for you. Hey, Barkus. Yeah? You work the seals every day? No. Oh, only when they fall down and get lazy in the act. Oh, what was the matter today? You see that fellow over there with the whiskers? Yeah. Well, for no reason at all, Gilbert suddenly decided not to do his single. You mean the stunt he does all by himself? The stunt he always has done until this afternoon. When I threw him the stick, he balanced it on his nose all right. But when I threw that big rubber ball, he acted as if he'd never seen it before. You mean he didn't catch it like always? That's exactly what I mean. He wandered off balancing the pole on his snout as if his job was finished. So that's why you're doing Keeping him after school, exactly. I don't dare let him get away with it, or he might take me weeks to get him back doing that particular trick. Now, now you watch. Here, Hubert. Good. He caught the pole all right. See, it's great the way he balances it. Now, here goes the ball. Now, you... Now, hmm, just a bad hombre, that's all. Hey, why'd you give him the fish? I thought that was to reward him. Well, that's just what it is for. But he didn't do the trick. No, but uh, I want him to know what to expect, and I'll give him more when he does do the trick right. Uh, now, we'll try again. Well, he sure catches a stick all right. All right, now. Steady, Hubert. Easy. Here. Uh, he did it. Good boy. <laughs> Fine, Hubert. I'm proud of you. Here's some extra fish. Look at him slap his slippers. Just as if he was applauding himself. Sure, he knows he's been good. Uh, you want to reward him? Give him his fish? Oh, gee whiz, can I? Oh, say thanks. Well, that's right. Throw it on. He'll catch it. Look at him weave around. He's sure excited. Yeah, these seals sure like their fish now. What do you mean now? Don't they always? Oh, sure. But I was just thinking about when they first come to us from the ocean. They like live fish. You know, most of these seals are from the Pacific. Oh, so that's why I've heard some of the menagerie men call them Pacific water dogs. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Are they scared at first? Well, they're kind of wild. Uh, you, you know, you have to get them used to you before you can do any training. Oh, how do you do that? Well, when they're in the tank, I put on high tin boots and wade in with them till they get used to me. But why then? They'd nip our legs to pieces if we didn't. Oh, so they bite. I'll say they do. Well, then what? Well, we get to talking to them soft-like and calling them by name. Finally, we pat their neck. And by then, they're so used to us, they don't even try to nip out at us. Gee, Wilkins, I'd sure like to see you working with a new one. Well, the next time we get some new ones in, uh, come around. I'll let you help train them. Oh, say, you're swell. Say, listen, son, I'm forgetting all about Hubert here talking to you. Come on, Hubert. Once more, and we'll call it a day. 
So up you go. Now the pole. That's right. Hold it steady. It's marvelous the way he walks along with it. Now the ball. Play. Good boy. Fine. Okay, Hubert. Well, you're through for today. Now, no monkey shines tonight. Okay, Hubert. Uh, come up on this plank into your wagon. Look at him go. Oh, yeah. He wants to get back to that tank. Well, son, we got to be going. Thanks for helping. Well, thanks for letting me. Well, guess I'd better get down to the other end of the tent and see how Rags is doing. So long. Uh, so long, kid. Uh, hiya, Jerry. Oh, fine. Well, what you doing with Patsy's trapezes? I'm checking them over. She's coming in to practice her new act. Yeah? Well, I'll be back and watch her. There you go. Well. <laughs> Say, that was great. He's better than ever. <laughs> yep, he's as good as new. <laughs> I think you've had enough now, Rags. Oh, say, I, I just come up. He wants to do it once more for me. Well, okay, but only once. <laughs> After all, he hasn't been working, and I don't want him to get too tired the first rehearsal. When are you going to let him back in the act? I think tomorrow, when we open in Jackson <laughs> City. Say, did you hear that right? That's swell. No, okay, Rags. Now, if you want to show off, we'll do it again. Now... On my foot. I love the way he talks back. Boy, say, that was a kick. Look at that somersault. And right on your shoulder. Pretty good. <laughs> now, now, here we go. Now, easy, boy. Whoop. Say, you didn't do that before. Hey, that's great. I got the idea that day we worked rags and his leg was so sore. Now, now see, as I turn a somersault, he catapults right off my shoulder and turns his own somersault. I'll say he does. Two of them. Then his turning tail and coming up through your legs is a swell finish. Sure, I'm proud of you. That's a grand trick. <laughs> well, uh, I thought you'd like it. <laughs> oh, no. No, now that's enough for today. Say, Bump, one of the men was back fixing Patsy's tra trappings. Yeah? She's going to rehearse her new act. You want to stay and watch? Sure, may as well. It's a while before dinner. Oh, say, she's down there already. Sure. Uh, hey, Patsy. Yeah? Say, that was great. When are you going to put it in your act? Tomorrow. In Jackson City? Yes, I'm bringing it in there. Oh, gee, Willikins, did you hear that, Bump? She and Rags will open the same day. Well, good work, Patsy. We'll be watching you. Hey, the flag's up. Well, that sounds like dinner. The flag's up, Patsy. You coming to eat with us? You go right ahead, Bump. I'll be with you in a jiffy. Hurry up. We'll go along slow. I don't mind telling you, I'm starved. Oh, oh, no, you don't think that's anything new, do you? Well, <laughs> uh, I've never seen you when you didn't put away enough food for one of the steakers. Oh, you're kidding. I couldn't eat that much. Come on, Rags, quit snacking. <laughs> Say, I I've seen him eat three steaks for breakfast. Well, you can get outside a pretty near that much for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if I worked up to it and got in training. Oh, oh say, you don't need any training. Well, however you're growing, and growing boys can always eat more for their size than anything else I know of. <laughs> oh, hi, Johnny. Greetings, friends. Good evening. And how is my understudy doing tonight, eh? Very well, thank you, Mr. Bradley. See, you know, I think I ought to learn some of that Shakespeare stuff right, if I'm going to be an honest-to-goodness understudy. You're a fine lad. Wouldn't hurt you to learn some of the Bard's famous plays, even if you never used them. Poetry is good for the imagination, my boy. Will you teach me? Oh, with pleasure, Jerry, with pleasure. Come into my wagon any time, and we'll delve into some of the great works of the world's greatest playwright. Oh, say, that'd be great. Well, you couldn't have a better teacher, Jerry. Johnny may be a clown in the ring, but he used to work with some of the most famous actors in the country. He was one himself, I suspect. Mm, in my day, it was a great art. The spoken word, the power of the voice. And the slightest bit of pantomime. Well, <clears throat> well, here we are. Oh, to be sure. We seem to be tardy. Good evening, friends. Good evening. <laughs> well, I apologize there. for my late. How are you? How are you? <laughs> Patsy's the latest. She'll be here in a minute, I guess. Golly, that soup sure looks good. Oh, here comes the little lady now, all out of breath. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Oh, I am winded. Well, you needn't have run like that, Patsy. Oh, I know, Bunks, but I dropped by the wagon and found out I'd gotten some mail. And after all your rehearsing, too, you'll be too tired to eat. Hey, uh, may I have some more crackers? Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose you
you think if I don't eat, there'll be more for you, huh, Jerry? Oh, well, you see, Jerry, you've already got a reputation. <laughs> well, that's one thing. There's no FHB in the circus. FHB? Uh, is that some kind of a club? <laughs> no, that, that's just short for family hold back. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the first time my old ears have heard that. Is that a very common expression? <laughs> oh, I'll say it is. We often had to use it when there was company. You can bet we were glad when Mother'd say, M-I-K. You bet. And what, may I ask, does M-I-K stand for? More in kitchen. <laughs> oh, more in <laughs> hey, uh, may I have some more meat and potatoes and, and a little more bread? <laughs> Jerry, I don't know where you put it. He just asked for one thing after another since he sat down. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I... don't let it kid you, Jerry. You go right ahead and eat. <laughs> Oh, say, would you folks mind if I look through my letters? Oh, well, go ahead. Of course not. <laughs> say, Bump, how about some butter? I can remember the day when we were stranded in the little town Jerry. of the... Oh, oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Bradley. All right, little lady. Uh, what I had to say was of no importance. Uh, you go right ahead. Jerry, this letter's from the Brunner Lock Company. No. Oh, say, that. Well, what did they say? Mm, let me see. They say they used to make this type of lock but have long since discontinued this particular pattern. Oh, golly, that's tough. Hmm. And then down here at the bottom, they have a list of the different banks that use this lock and key when they were manufacturing it. Are there many? Yes. Let's see. There's Twin Falls and Humpsburg and Jackson City. And hey, that's where we play tomorrow. I if it's the same one. Of course we do. We've got a couple of days there. Well, while you're there, might as well check with that bank. You know, they might still have some of those old locks in use. You think so? No harm in trying to find out. That's just what we will do. We'll look up that bank when we get there tomorrow. Golly. No, don't count on it too much, though, Jerry. Well, I won't. Besides, Jerry, you see, this letter lists about eight different banks all over the country that use that pattern at one time or another. Guess we got just good a chance to hit it right off in Jackson City as any other city. Of course we have. We just don't want you to be disappointed if it is the wrong bank. That's all. Well, I won't. And after all, if it's not the place... We'll write you all those other banks till we find the right one. You bet we will. We'll find that safety deposit box of your dad's if it takes the rest of the season. I sure hope we hit it first thing, though. I'm awful anxious to find out what dad had that was important enough to lock up in a bank. Mr. Bradley? Mr. Bradley? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yes, yes? All of a sudden, you look so kind of... Well, just since we started talking about the bank of Jackson City. Is there anything wrong? Oh, no. Um, no, my dear. I'm all right. And I hope Jackson City will hold something very happy for you. Jackson City. Jackson City. Uh -huh.